better day to celebrate Easter, maybe an Easter egg uh, hunt outside. That is true, but Frank, it's all about to change, isn't it? Yeah, no soggy eggs out there this morning, guys. It was a beautiful day and a beautiful evening out there, too. This is our Verizon Wireless weather shot sent in by Austin Hamilton. This uh, shot was taken up north in Norwood, Iowa. That's just uh, up by the Minnesota border. Austin is from southern Iowa and was up there visiting some folks. And what a beautiful shot that was. Thank you very much, Austin. We've had great uh, weather all across the state this weekend. Couldn't really ask for much better. Check out these afternoon highs today. Made it up to 72 here in the metro, off to the west around Sioux City. Made it into the mid 70s, but some big changes are coming. Temperatures this hour really aren't that bad. We are still holding in the mid 50s here in central Iowa, 54 for Council Bluffs, low 50s off to the north around Mason City. The winds have started to dial back just a little bit. They've been pretty breezy over the past few days out of the southeast now at about 10 miles per hour here in Des Moines, 14 down around Lamoni. They've been gusty at times, up near 25 to 30 miles per hour earlier today. Right now here in Des Moines, look at this beautiful downtown sky. Cam looking at 801 Grand. Again, 56 degrees, which is pretty nice for this time of year, for this time of day. Take a look at that dew point, 33 degrees. So we have been increasing that moisture content out there. We spent most of the day in the 20s for our dew point. Of course, the dew point's the measure of how much moisture is in the air. So when that's on the increase, well, you can bet some changes are coming after a pretty dry weekend. Satellite radar shows why. More clouds, precipitation off to the north. This is along a stationary boundary. That's just been sort of hanging out up there, but it's going to be sliding off to the south. We'll show you that here in just a moment. But it's been cooler off to the north of that boundary. You can see highs today, 53 Minneapolis, 49 for Bismarck. The warmer air off to the south, 72 here in Des Moines. Made it up to 80 degrees today in Dodge City, Kansas. And if you look at tomorrow, Another warm day, but it's going to be off to the south, close to 90, Dodge City, Kansas, 67 in Omaha. So the 50s starting to slide into northern Iowa for highs, the 60s here in central Iowa, so some changes are definitely on the way. Notice the stationary boundary going to start to sag off to the south a little bit. Area of low pressure is going to develop, and eventually that's going to mean a rain chance by late Monday into Tuesday. We're going to see that scattered chance for rain around over the next few days. You'll notice future cast 6 o'clock showing some of that rain. Then this system pulls out. We get another system that moves in from the south and west. And by Wednesday into Thursday, that's going to mean more rain. So scattered chances for rain over the next few days. We'll track it with future cast showing those clouds around tonight. We'll start the day dry on Monday, but notice as we head throughout Monday afternoon, seeing some of those showers moving in, maybe even a few thunderstorms, especially off in eastern Iowa. And then Tuesday, another chance for rain. It's going to be scattered, but better chances in the afternoon. How much are we expecting? About a half an inch here in the metro by late Tuesday and even more by Wednesday into Thursday. Keep it tuned. We'll keep you up to date. 49 degrees tonight, a bit breezy. Your morning drive, not much uh, really to be concerned with. A little breezy, but the sun won't be in your eyes. That'll be the good news for that. We'll miss it, though, by the afternoon because that'll be replaced by some rain showers with temperatures in the mid-60s. Low 60s on Tuesday. It'll take a while to get back near 70 on Thursday, and we'll finally start to dry out by next Friday.